You sure you're comfortable in those clothes? Mm hmm. I like the snow. You know what? I should have seen that coming. Snow. Mm hmm. Well. Where are we? Um, We've been walking these roads for all day. There's a place down there. Hmm. Looks. Lived in? We should probably go warn them and tell them to stay off the roads for a little while. Maybe. Come on. Oh, yeah, you can see the smoke coming out of the uh, little smokestack out there. There's oh. someone in there. Oh. Alright. Alright, we should announce that we're here. Shouldn't just walk in unannounced. Hello? Hello? Hey, anyone here? Wait. Hey, something doesn't feel right. I'd drop Since... the weapon if I were you. Thanks. The heck? Ooh. Ooh. Are you a supernatural? Oh. And what if I am? What does that matter to you? Huh. Well... We, you should know that we're, well, hunters, I guess? I don't think that matters. Well, if you're hunters, then I would suggest probably pulling that weapon back out again. If Why? you want to stand a chance. We don't kill. We yeah. Just... We're... I don't know why it matters. You don't Maybe. kill? No, we hunt the supernatural to get them out of dangerous areas and put them into locations where they won't be hunted. Oh, so you're like some supernatural babysitters in a sense. Cute. Uh, are you sh uh, Anyways, are we done here? If you're lost, just follow the road. You'll be fine. Who are you? Why do you care? Well, you're living in this semi-looking abandoned place. Look, it, I live here with Father Eaton, okay? The priest? Yeah, if that's what you want to call him, yeah, sure. Whatever. He's a... <sighs> aren't all the priests supernatural hunters? Yeah, they're all a little, uh, a little crazy. Ugh. Then why are you living with them? I have my reasons. Trek back. Yeah, I, I uh, I wouldn't suggest going in there unless you want my pet to meet your pet. I don't think your pet would win, by the way. What is your pet? I don't know if you've heard of a chupacabra before, but uh, what the? they tend to get a little, they tend to get a little vicious. You were you were playing with the goats just before we left too, so we probably should not go in. Don't worry, oh. he should be asleep, Miguel. But uh, you know, if he's not, I uh, I would hide a bit if you smell like goat. Are they nocturnal? Actually, they are. So what do you want? We came on. The, we came to tell tell the oh the owners of this establishment. That it's dangerous to be on the roads right now. We were following up on rumors that there was a vampire wandering the roads here and trying to find them and relocate them. Mm. The vampire, huh? Does that bother you? <laughs> what, well, what's wrong? If I find a vampire, I'll make sure to bring its head to you if you need it. What? You, you would kill it. Of course I would. Who wouldn't? We would. The supernatural... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You little pacifist party over here. We're a group that protects the supernaturals. The supernaturals are a dying, are a dying group of people. Well, I wonder why. Maybe they should probably, I don't know, stop killing and messing people's lives up and maybe they... Uh, it's the humans them. that are encroaching on their territory. Killing them uh, just to make more homes. Do you really think 
that if you tear down a forest full of supernaturals, that they wouldn't j just sit down and, let and take it? Look, to be honest, I don't really care about the supernaturals, like, at all. So, I really don't care if they die out or not. You're a supernatural! I didn't used to be a supernatural. I didn't choose this life. You were converted. Were you once a vampire or something? No. What are you? Yeah. It's for me to know and for you, hopefully, to never find out. Or what? If we find out, we die? No, it's just that if you have to find out, you probably will die. That means you ticked me off. Hmm. Mm. <sighs> Look, buddy. Just don't kill the vampire, okay? We're gonna find it. We're gonna find the vampire. We're gonna relocate it out of everyone's way. Mm -hmm. Sure. What is wrong with you? I could ask you the same question, pal. The supernaturals are people. They live lives just like us. Why would yeah. we want to hunt them? Well, some of them deserve to live. Not most. That's for sure. Look. Just stay out of our way, okay? That's fine. I don't plan on getting in your way. But like I said, if I find the vampire first, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. Hmm. Also, I, uh, wouldn't stay out here too much at night. Gets a little dangerous. So, uh, we can handle might want to go. We can handle ourselves. And what are you going to do? Tuck it into bed when it finds you? <laughs> oh, hunters. Okay, sure thing. Yep. I have a good day. Well, we can mark, we can finally mark one. One supernatural would not risk my life for. Oh. What did you think he meant by he wasn't always a supernatural? Can you become one besides the normal methods of vampirism and werewolf? Uh, chimera? Those things are real, right? It's possible, but if was he a chimera? I don't it... know. I've never seen one. There, that's only rumors, though. Hmm. What has happened? What are we fighting for? Now we can't go back and we can't move on No point to pretend anymore I've been strung out Starting to lose my soul But you went too far and I won't back down I'm heading for another door It was only a matter of time and I never needed you around and But we keep running round and round I've been down there looking for the silver lining But no matter what we're always fighting you should just get lost Cause you're not safe with me around If I fall down before I detonate I'm too far out of bounds You better plan for your getaways Cause you're not safe with me around If I fall down before I detonate You got too far out of bounds You better plan for your getaway Or I'll detonate on ya We've been walking for a while. I don't know. Wait. Snow, take cover. Just hide. 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 You. I can see you behind that tree. Identify yourself. Uh, well, you don't need to be pointing weapons at me, first of all. Wait. You're a supernatural. Is there a problem with being a supernatural? 
We just don't find many supernaturals wandering the main roads. I mean, I wouldn't have been wandering, but I lost Alpha, so I don't know where he is. Alpha the... The dragon. Alpha the dragon. Wait, you're a dragon? Uh, no, I'm a lizard. Yes, I'm a dragon. Well, you have one wing, so... I wasn't entirely sure if you were some kind of subset or something. Mm -hmm. Is that a touchy subject? It might be. It's very touchy, and I can hear you. Oh, sorry. Uh, but yeah, no, uh... What are you doing on the main roads, though? Don't you know there are plenty of hunters that are wandering the roads looking for, for people like you? Uh, no. You don't know there's hunters, or you don't care? Uh, both. You do know what hunters do to the supernatural, right? I mean, to be fair, us dragons don't really encounter hunters that often that are brave enough to try to shoot us in the face. I suppose. Look, I'm... <sighs> okay. Off on the wrong foot already. My name is Mario. And this is uh, my partner, Snow. We're hunters from the... We're hunters. Mm hmm. Right. But we're not your typical hunters. Yeah, we, I, we don't I, kill. I mean, I figured as much when your partner herself is a supernatural. Yeah, that's yeah. difficult to get past the church every now and then. Uh. Look, we're just trying to tell you. Wandering the main roads? Not a good idea. Okay. Well, thank you for letting me know. What are you even... You're looking for this alpha person, right? Uh-huh. What do they look like? They wouldn't uh, have to be a tall, gargoyle-looking creature that intimidates everyone, right? No. Okay, good. No, Alpha, he's a bit taller than me. He's got black and red hair. Basically, he's a dragon like me, but he'd probably be hiding his dragon features. Why aren't you? Because I'm too lazy. Okay. Okay. Well... Okay, uh, could stay right there for a second. Uh, Snow, come over here real quick. Look, I know we normally, you know, relocate, do all that stuff with the supernatural, but I have a feeling this one might put up a bit of a fiercer fight if we try to do that. Yeah. Um. Maybe help them find Alpha? Maybe. Are they leaving already? Or they can leave on their own. Hey, are you leaving already? Well, I mean, it's not very nice to be talking about me when I am four feet from you. You're, you can hear everything we're saying, can't you? Yes, yes I can. Dragon hearing, gotcha. Yes. Look. Better than cat hearing. It's okay. Well, debatable. You can hear it if a fish, if a f fish flips out of water for a second. I do like fish. Look. <sighs> Look. Ma'am? I don't know how old you are. Look, it's best that you just get off the main road, okay? Maybe, maybe your friend is smart and smart and stayed off the main road. If he's smart, then I don't know what I am. I'd rather not step on that landmine. Mm-hmm. Anyways, my name is Riker, not Ma'am. Oh, well, hello, Riker. Hello. Uh, as for my age, I am 405 years old, so... Huh? But you... What? I guess dragons age differently. Dragons... We live for a, a very long time. Huh. Huh. <laughs> Maybe so that's... that... I assume that's young for a dragon? Um, yeah, I am... I am considered young. Yes, I am. You s sense. You seem a little... Mind me saying Angry, but not with us with something else Did something occur? 
uh, many things have occurred in the past 20 years. You know, I, I lost my wing, and then just the, like maybe 20 minutes ago, I was being insulted by a, a, a swamp guardian. Oh. So yes, I am a bit angry. A swamp guardian? Yeah, apparently he's guarding some type of portal to a prison in the swamp over there. So. A huh. portal to a prison. Okay, are you sure you don't need our help? No. Because what you just said seemed a little... Crazy? I'm not crazy. I mean, Swamp Guardian, what is that, like, a goblin or something? He, he looked like a giant tree. A giant tree, and it could talk. Yes. Um... You're questioning a Swamp Guardian when you're talking to a dragon? Well, to be fair, we've seen a lot of things, but a talking tree was not one of them. Are you, are you talking about an ant? You know, those, uh, those... Those living trees that sometimes speak? I, I mean, I don't know if he was an ant, but he, ant, he, he could have been an ant. Because all he, the all the ants left northward about 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. All I know is he was by himself guarding some type of portal. Right. Look, I'm going to level with you. You're, you're a lady traveling on the road right now with one wing, so, screaming about trees and portals, and being very angry with whoever passes by. Are you, well, you sure you don't need our help? No, I don't need your assistance. I am simply just looking for my companion so I can return home. Sure, Grandma. <clears throat> I heard that. I didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. hey. You would Was... make a very nice ice sculpture if you continue to antagonize me. I'm sure I can knock you out before you can freeze me. I have some mm -hmm. quick, I have some pretty quick bow shots. Right. You want to test that theory? Sure. How many uh, tranquilizer darts? <gasps> <laughs> Just a small little frostbite. I've had worse. As you were saying. We fought. We fought a yeti before. Do you really want to test? Do you really want to test this? <sighs> Although it'd be fun, I'm afraid I don't have the time to play with you. Hmm. Oh, word of advice. Don't keep following down this main road. We passed along we passed alongside a group of uh well church hunters. Oh and God, they're the worst. They would not be so agreeable like us. They'll do their best to fight and try to kill you. As long as I hide my features, it wouldn't be a problem, would it? No, if you were to hide them, I'm pretty sure they'll just Okay, you look... Hmm. Bit unsettling, isn't it? Six out of ten. I don't know if I should be insulted by that or not. I'll leave it at that. Um, but no. Yeah, if they just see you, they'll just think you're a wandering maiden. They'll probably offer to escort you back to town or something. Thinking you're gonna be one of those people. Ah, uh, I see. That's why we say best to avoid the main roads. Any confrontation with them, probably be best avoided. Mm -hmm. All right. I mean, just take a look at just take a look at snow here. You think it's every time we wander past them, I have to do my best to try to convince them that snow's not a supernatural and just a girl who likes cats a lot. Hmm. <laughs> I feel as though that won't last for long. Yeah. <sighs> Maybe. I don't have the magic to hide it. I mean, we never tested if you couldn't do magic, actually. Maybe I've been has... working on spells, but I haven't figured it out yet. Maybe you could use a teacher. Hmm. Maybe. But 
then again, I don't know who could teach you. I mean, who in the world would know magic to teach? <clears throat> what? Magic? I mean, I'm sure dragon magic is different from cat magic, right? It has the same principle, basic principles. What, you're saying that you're willing to teach Snow here how to hide her features? Well, she hasn't offended me, so... Okay. Do you know what... Fair yeah, point. I'm good with your words, to be fair. No, as my sister would say, I'm not good with girls. Yeah, that too. Look. If you can teach her, that would actually help us out tremendously. Of course. How would we find you after today, though? That's the question. My house is not far down this road. Uh, so just keep going down this road and we find it? Hmm. It's not hard to miss. There's tanning racks and laundry outside. You sure that the those uh, church hunters won't find, uh, won't find your place? Oh, they will, but it looks just like a normal home. Oh. Okay. Well, if everything is okay then... Like we said, just best to avoid them. They'll act like you're a maiden in distress or something. Well, uh, thankfully, I'm not going to be continuing down this road. Alright. Oh, before we go, though. Have you, yes. perchance, ran into a vampire on these roads? No. The last time I ran into a vampire was over 30 years ago. Uh, of course. Yeah, no. Apparently, there were... were the reason, whole reason we're even traveling down these roads is because apparently there's been a lot of reports and fears that a, a vampire was wandering down these roads and we're trying to, you know, prevent the hunters that are traveling down this road from finding them, you know, before they kill them. Right. Well, you should also be careful. Some are not as friendly as others. Oh, we are as aware. I'm sure you know. Oh, yeah, no. We have our own battle scars. Well, if you see a black and red dragon, tell him I have returned home. Yep. Okay. I will do. Does he have full sets of his wings to be able to differentiate? Yes, he has both wings. He wears armor on his left arm. Okay. Looks like a knight. Gotcha. <sighs> Used to be. We won't question that. Pretty sure that's probably a, a story that for another time. Mm. Well, we should be going as well then. Yes. As uh, my sister would say, get out before I get burned. <laughs> or I guess in your case, frostbite. Yes, well, <laughs> my companion is fire, so. Good to know! <laughs> Actually, would he have burned me? Uh, if you were aggressive, yes. He is much more calm than I am. Good to know. Come on, Snow. Let's keep moving. Uh, What's a, it was good it was good meeting you. Uh, what was your name again? Riker. Riker. It was good to meet you, Riker. Hopefully our paths will cross on an, in less awkward moments. Mm. Come on. Apologies for being aggressive, by the way. Oh, I'm sure Snow would tell you that I'm, uh, that it was my fault. <laughs> well, good luck on your travels. Yeah, farewell. Bye. How far of earshot do you think? I can uh... still hear you! Oh, jeez, just keep walking, just keep walking. <laughs> Years of a dragon, oh, God. Oh, what a hopeless case we could be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what a hopeless place that we're in.